I love when I'm talking with someone about an experience we shared in the past and they don't remember it at first. And then they say, ah, yes, that is a form of bonding. Reminiscing on the good old days, as we say, reminds you of how close you are to another person and your connection to them. People who have been successful, they usually say one thing. I focused on myself, I worked hard, and I haven't talked to anyone, haven't done anything, just focused, worked, set my milestones, my goals, and I achieved them. But people, and these, these are people who are not empty, you know, they have filled themselves with achievements. But people who are, I would say, empty vessels, have no achievements, have no goals, have no objectives in life, are mostly the people who make more sound, you know? <laughs> they usually talk about, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that, I'm going to attend this, I'm going to be this, and in the end of the day, like my friend Haytham has said, you know, all talk, no walk. Okay. It would be very good for you to teach yourself to work and let your work talk. For example, when you get a hard question from Yahya, never wait from him to say, good try, but rather try, try to answer. <laughs> Just <laughs> as the way I'm trying. And then you might get trapped. You trapped me, Yahya. Thank you. You see guys, being 20, 30, 40, 50, even 60, doesn't mean that I'm too late. I can't stop doing this or I have to do a lot more. Guys, all I'm saying is just one idea. It's only one thing. No matter how old you are, doesn't mean anything if you're 20 30 40 50 it's all in your hand when i was walking through the desert of toastmasters i found a puddle at that time that puddle was called elite kfpm toastmasters and they thought, you know what, let's just buy the subscription for Zoom and make a meeting. And I thought, all right, I'll join. And in that meeting alone, I was convinced that there is still a future. And just like every desert, when you want water, what do you do? You dig. From this puddle, I got a shovel. And I began digging and I kept digging and digging and I realized I'm not strong enough to dig. I'm incapable of digging. I needed a team because my, my objective was to reach a goal and it's to make a river, an oasis, a place for people to come to, a place for people to come and can speak freely and can enjoy themselves and can learn leadership and public speaking. I put my heart and soul along with my team into this. <laughs> 